Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? And welcome to my Flash review for this week. I uh, can't really remember what the episode's called. Uh, you'll have to forgive me on that. I do it a lot. I should really start writing that down. Uh, but tonight's episode, wow. Um, it, it, the Flash goes on, and I think Arrow, the Flash and Arrow go on break for four weeks after this. Uh, I have something to talk about, uh, what I'll be doing next week, uh, later in the video, so tune in for that. But anyways, let's get into the video. Top 5 moments. So my number 5 moment, Barry thinks he can change the past. Now, it's cute of him to try. You know, he's, he's like, I'm determined to do this. What he doesn't think is, he, he is destined to fail. There's nothing that he can do to change that. Like, if he could, it would already be changed, I would think. Time is a wibbly-wobbly thing, for all you Whovians out there. Um, it's, it's, I don't, I don't think it works like that, to be honest. Like, even, no matter how hard you train, knowing that you knew that you were going to go into the past and try to change the future after knowing that you were going to fail with the loud dog, loud dogs barking and loud dogs barking in the background, um, you would still fail, I would assume. It's just really confusing. It's like he knows that he goes into the past, and I'm assuming that the one that went into the past knows what he knows, knows that he knows that he's going to go into the past and fail, so that one who goes into the past trains just like he's going to train and go over all that stuff, but he still goes into the past and fails. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. So I'm gonna for a moment. Ronnie and Professor Stein's chemistry. Uh, now this one was a really awesome one because Firestorm is becoming one of my favorite characters on the show and in the DC universe, right behind the Flash and uh, Green Lantern. I think I I really haven't thought beyond the Flash because he's just awesome. Uh, but anyways, yeah, it was like their relationship. It seems like is father son. It's kind of just like the comics, uh, in the new 52, or pre-52, I think, Ronnie dies somehow. Yeah, because he's in Black and Sky, Ronnie dies, and Professor Stein looked at him as a son. Uh, and I think that's exactly how it's going to be in the show. I, I don't think Ronnie's going to die or anything, I just think they're going to have the father-son relationship, and that's going to be really cool. I just like how they were kind of going back and forth um, at the beginning, and just how Ronnie's like, don't call me Ronald, or whatever. It, it was really cool. But moving on to another Firestorm moment. Number three, Firestorm joins Team Flash and merges right. Uh, now, as you all probably would assume, that the Firestorm that we saw before the, this episode was crazy as fuck. He didn't have anything holding them together. They merged strong because they merged so suddenly and, like, fought it with my dog yawning. My dog is just all over the place tonight. Nope. But they merged right at the end of the episode, and you get to see Firestorm for the first time. He's got the white eyes, but you can actually see him. He's, like, glowing from the head, like, the, his hair. Until he flame on, flames on, I don't know, when he shoots flames, it's just, it's so cool to see. And even though you don't have the spinning head, you got that effect of uh, Professor Stein's in his mind. You know, he's a spinning head, or a head. It's just really cool, and just how Stein's voice is in there. Arr! I love, I love Firestorm. Uh, but yeah. And my number two moment, for all those who still doubted for some reason that Wells is the man in the yellow suit, uh, well, he, he is. He abducts Clancy Brown, Sergeant General Eiling, whoever the fuck his name is. He's a dickhead, so we don't really need to remember his name. Clancy Brown's not. Clancy Brown's a great actor. Uh, but yeah. Uh, he takes his mask off when he is suited up. You see it's Wells. You know, and I just wanted to talk about some uh, forgotten information. Now, I, I know they are mixing and matching well, or Eobard Thawne and Hunter Zolomon, but it is still Eobard Thawne. And one major thing to go on that is Hunter Zolomon, and thank you for the subscribers or just the people who commented and reminded me of this. I completely forgot. 
if our, our uh, Hunter's Almond does not operate off the Speed Force, he operates off of time, I believe. I don't remember that what they said on that part. I should really have this shit handy. But he does not operate off of Speed Force. That's the main thing that you need to know. Uh, because of the cosmic treadmill blowing up, he acts, has access straight to time, and that's why he talks real fast and shit. Uh, see if it was, you know, Hunter, he wouldn't have to worry about, uh, siphoning the speed force or anything like that just to be able to keep running fast. But as I said, they are mixing and matching, so they could have that and all of that in Hunter's Almond. See, I am taking a firm stance on that Wells is Ilbert Thorn, but I could be wrong. Like, I could be shit-talking and stuff and being like, he is this, but I could be totally wrong. Probably not, but, you know, I could be. And my number one moment. Grog can fucking talk. Well, through his mind. Uh, plus, as a side note, as I said, he got that dickhead out of the way for us. I just hated Eiling. He's such an asshole. Uh, but yeah, Grog, holy my god. Uh, and again, on this, you could draw the conclusion that Wells is Hunter Zolomon because of Grog and them working together in the comics when Grog first appeared, I believe. Uh, so yeah, you could draw that, but this moment isn't about the Reverse Flash. This is about Grog. Just the way that he fucking struggled up to Eiling to grab him by the leg. He just struggled. He's like, remember me or whatever he said? Grog. It was, oh my god, oh my god, fucking Grog. This was an amazing episode. I'm sad that it's going on break for four weeks. But yeah, the review of the episode. So overall, I give it... I'm gonna give it a 10 because it's going away for four weeks. But you know by now that you don't come to this channel for the hardcore, in-depth, 10-page, IGN, 9 out of 10, too much water. You don't come here for that. You come here for the moments. Hopefully you do. If you come here for the in-depth, hardcore... 5 out of 10 too much water than the hell. Uh, but anyways, giving it a 10 out of 10 because it's going on break. The only thing that I really didn't like about the episode was the off-put iris things. It just, it seems like it was out of place. Um, it really wasn't needed. I know they're trying to further her character, but it's starting to be like one of those Laurel Season 2 things. It's getting unnecessary. Well, it was necessary. She had to go through a crucible and all that. But I don't think Iris is going to become a vigilante. So, you know, if we can make her character more interesting, pronto, that would be great. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, about next week. I'm taking next week off. Uh, I've been trying to do this on a schedule uh, since the show... Since one episode before the show's uh, came back. Or since... The first episode that the shows came back. Or, god damn it. Since an episode, two episodes before the shows went away for Christmas break. And then I done constant videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday until the shows came back. And I've been trying to do constant videos since the show came back. Bonus videos along with the reviews. And that has taken a toll on me. <laughs> Not really, I mean, this is the best job anyone can ever ask for, even though it's not a job yet. Uh, it's still, it's still a little bit of work, but I am going to be taking next week off, just because. So, yeah, sorry about that. Hopefully I don't lose too many subscribers or I don't lose interest. Doing this is a really risky thing on YouTube because you become irrelevant. And I'm scared of that, I'm going to take my chances, and I'm going to go no life on WoW. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Let me know what you thought about any moment from this video, or just any topic. How are you doing? How's your life? How's the weather where you are? It's snowy as hell where I am. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.